Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Wadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us His truth, and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to go into this video touching on this article that just came across the screen. It says, um, Valrico location of Voodoo Brewery in the works. Okay, and uh, this is, you know, an area near where, where, where I'm at down here in, in Florida. Um, but they're opening up a new brewery. Okay, they're opening up a new brewery where they sell beer and food and stuff. And what caught my eye was Voodoo. Okay, so this place is openly you know, um, uh, celebrating witchcraft, because voodoo is witchcraft, which I wish I go into that real quick, I look at this word voodoo, and it says, um, uh, it says, a group of magical and ecstatic rites associated with voodoo, um, voodoo, sometimes offensive, loosely, black magic, sorcery, Okay, so voodoo is sorcery, all right, black magic. It says, um, so if you go to a brewery that's, you know, uh, you know, in the spirit of voodoo, you know, you know, telling what they putting in your food, you know, telling, you know, what they putting in your drink, you know, they got something called a witch's brew, you see? So now they have a brewery where they're, you know, openly, uh, uh, you know, giving cadence to, uh, witchcraft. That's what it is. It says, um, magical, I'm just reading some of these words, uh, to affect by voodoo magic. Um, it says, also called uh, dues, or, you know, down here in Florida, they got some called woo, you know, where Jake, you know, um, usually uh, Levi and those, um, those uh, Western or not, not Western, um, you know, the, the, you know, Benjamin, do, uh, those tribes, they really, it'd be really heavy into voodooism because they'd be over in those islands. It says also called voodooism, a religious cult involving witchcraft and communication by trance with ancestors or animalistic deities common in Haiti and other Caribbean islands. That's what I was trying to say, uh, the, the Caribbean islands, the Caribbean islands. Okay. So this is a, uh, what goes on. You know, people are practicing in voodoo, and now we're in a world where this is being pushed heavy in the world. You got those voodoo chips, which I've done videos on that before, too. You got, um, what's that drink? It's a drink. It's called um, uh, death death water or, or, or oh, uh, liquid death. All this stuff is just w a wickedness and sorcery being pushed in the earth. All right, so let's grab a few scriptures. Well, well let's go into the article real quick. It says, um... Valrico is getting a new location, Voodoo Brewery soon. Franchise Chris uh, C told FFBW the new location is the first ever ground up build out across the whole brand. Uh, C told F FFBW that they are currently pouring concrete at that's the location early on in the process. Yada yada yada. All right, let's go to the website real quick. This is the website. All right. Now, let's see. Look at some of the stuff on this website. I ain't going to make this long. It says crafting award winning beers. Um, and pe you people that's not spiritual, you're not spiritual. You, you know, you're going to think, oh, yeah, well, 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 well you, you know, it's just a beer spot. No, they're they're you know, or a food spot because they got food there, too. But no, they they um, they're dealing with uh, witchcraft, man. All right. That, that's what the whole franchise is, is founded upon pizza with pickles on it so it looks, it looks fucking weird but it says um let me get to the point <clears throat> all right so i mean there's that here you see beer delivery these cans have skulls on them you know, it's just witchcraft. Okay, it, it it is witchcraft. Let's see what they selling, and they shop. And apparently, this place is all over the. Uh, look at the skeletons, which is, 
when you see skeletons and stuff, you know, that, you know, um, it pretty much means death, you see? So it's mindful to be mindful of these things. And this is the world that we're living in nowadays where this is a thing, okay? This is a thing. So let's go here. It says, Exodus chapter 22, verse uh, 18, it says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, which, you know, if you're dealing with voodoo, that's witchcraft, okay? And when the Lord comes back, he's going to destroy people that are um, dealing with this type of stuff. And the NLT, it says, you must not allow a sorceress to live, all right? So like, like we, we brought out, that was sorcery, all right? Let's go here and grab witch. Um... And this is, you know, predominantly to you Israelites. You Edomites go going to do it anyways, but to you Israelites, you should know better. It says, Deuteronomy 18, verse 10, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, which is child sacrifice, or that uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. Okay, so that's off. We're not supposed to be, you know, uh, uh, dealing with that stuff. You have no business being, be, being around that stuff. It says, or... Uh, um, or engage in witchcraft it says or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer for all that do these things are an abomination to yahweh and the and because of these abominations the lord yahweh thy power doth drive them out from before thee right and this is why the lord is upset too because this is a uh, wickedness man okay this is wickedness it's it it, 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 it is wicked and what the lord tell us to do when it comes to, you know, this type of stuff, this is, um, first Thessalonians chapter five, verse 22, it says, abstain from all appearance of evil. Okay. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Uh, in the NLT, it says, stay away from any kind of evil. So this is a warning, you know, as we see these things playing on earth, the earth is getting more and more wicked. The Lord says, stay away from any kind of evil. All right. So we don't want nothing to do with it. You see? We don't want nothing to do with this madness, man. But this is the world that we're living in. And it's only going to get worse. Let's go here. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 13. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. Reprove thy people and comfort such of them that be in trouble and renounce and now renounce corruption. This world is very corrupted. So we, we are renouncing this madness. Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man and put off now that weak nature and set aside the, the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times so we are hasting to flee from these times you know this, this world we're hasting the coming of the lord because we live in a very wicked and evil world and here's the point for greater yet for it's like for yet greater evils <laughs> bad times than those which thou hast seen shall be done hereafter for look how much the world shall be weaker through age and the world has gotten weaker you know and why? Because of wickedness is in the earth, man. You know, hey, the fruits used to be bigger. You know, people used to be bigger. Everything was, was bigger, better. But now it's becoming so much weaker. It says, so much the more shall evils, evils up, increase upon them that dwell therein. So the evils are increasing. All right. And being spiritual, we got to identify these things, know what time we in, you know, and, and beware. You know, th 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 this is popping up in my area, but I'm sure it's probably one in your area. You know, or even when you go into the store, like, you know, down here we got Wawa, you know, you walk into the store and as you order a sandwich, they have it right there in, in, in the center of the store. You know, a damn uh, a thing about those voodoo chips, man. They had they have the advertisement for those those voodoo chips where they're selling those voodoo chips. You got to you got to be, be aware of what time we're in. OK, scripture says measure out of times diligently. We are in evil times. These are evil days. So with that, you're going to have a lot of evil things, you know, popping up. You know, being accepted here, uh, evil and wickedness is being more and more accepted here in this wicked world. It says, for the time that for so like for the time is far is fled far away, and the leasing is now at hand. For now hastening the, the vision to come, which thou hast seen, which the, the prophets see in this man. You know, they see in this place getting work, uh, getting more and more wicked every day. They seen all these things taking place in the earth. Okay, so. And understanding that, you got to understand what time we in and just and, and, and just beware, you know, be alert. You know, you may have friends that say, hey, hey, you want to go out for a beer, which, hey, I like beer. You know, uh, it's not wrong with, ha with having a beer. Somebody say you want to go out for a beer. Hey, sure. Yeah. You know, see the location. That's in the location. And you and they might send you here. 
especially if it's a new place in town, you know. So just be mindful, you know. That's all. That's all I'm saying. But I also want to touch on the fact how wicked this world is becoming. All right, it's become very, very wicked, very evil, and it's only going to get worse. You know, it's only going to get worse. It says, Exodus chapter 23, verse 2, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. So, Because everybody doing it don't mean that you should do it, man. You know, Don't follow a multitude to do evil. Okay? This place is, is, is getting more and more wicked. Let me grab this, too. Because it's, you, you, got, you got nothing but evil people out here nowadays, man. Everybody's dealing with some type of form or fashion of witchcraft. Everybody's dabbling in it, you know, nowadays. You know, you, 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 you meet a woman, you know, she's into it, whether it's tarot card reading. Whether it's, um, you know, even, you know, down to those goddamn uh, horoscopes and stuff. You know, all that shit is witchcraft. It says, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 13, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And that's what they're doing. They've been deceived and they're deceiving. They want you to get, you know, with the program of wickedness. Okay? Which we, we, we rejected. Okay? Let's go here. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 See then that you walk circumspectly Not as fools but as wise Don't be simple Don't be no fool out here Just going with the flow You know going with the motions Wherever anybody go Everybody going That's where you going Hell no nah. This is a wicked wicked world I was just going into it earlier About this guy uh, Playboy Cardi You know These people are wicked man So you know Even like you know Imagine you know You 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 you, you go see this guy at a show You know what they're doing to you They're, they're, they're putting casting spells on your ass They're putting demons on you Lil Uzi Vert said that. He said, all you people here at this concert are going to hell with me. You know, which means, means thermonuclear annihilation. You people are going to be destroyed. When the Lord comes back, he's going to be angry and upset. He's going to destroy you. You know, so we warn you to, to be, be mindful of these things and be aware. Abstain from this madness. It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We have some very evil days, man. It's only going to get worse out here. You know, it's only going to get worse. So in understanding that, be uh you know, be be mindful and do what's pleasing unto you how about you shy. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Let me grab this too. Cause somebody may think, oh well it's just chips, it's just or it's it's, it's just a beer. <laughs> okay. It says first Corinthians chapter fourteen verse thirty eight, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. So if you're gonna be ignorant, we're gonna let you be ignorant. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We know that he's trying to, you know, cast more demons and spells on us. We know how this man get out his, his wicked schemes and plans. So we're not going to be ignorant of that, man. Um, Like uh, I did a video a while back of that, those, uh, about that, that liquid death drink, you know, that they're selling in these stores now. Um, It was a fucking promotion for that video, you know, that was, you know, pretty much promoting it. And it was saying, they literally flat out told you, they had a witch in the warehouse talking about how the witches are casting spells into every can. So, you know, you do you think of something, oh, it's just a drink. You know, you've been ignorant and you drink that shit. Now you got demons on you. <laughs> you bugging the fuck out. Now you have a suicidal thoughts. You fucking, you know, cutting yourself. Uh, You know, got, you know, some homosexual, you know, thoughts going through your head. Come on, man. But this is the, this is the world we're living in. It's a very demonic world. All right, and it's a spiritual battle. All right, we are in a spiritual battle. So it says Ecclesiasticus or Sirach five or fifteen. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So you may think it's a small. You know, don't be ignorant. You know, don't be ignorant. That's the point. Ain't gonna make it too long. Shalom, Kwame Shirala, Baba Ball. Person has been edified to the full elect, double honest to our elders and apostles of great millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole elect scattered abroad. Shalom.